hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be teaching you how to cut your slap section using porter details before we go on i'd love for you to like share and subscribe to my channel as this will serve as a means of encouraging me to provide more videos that will be educative in teaching you how to design the porter structure so back to the matter of the day today i'll be teaching you guys how to cut a slab section using portal detail now when we are done with the analysis of our building we go to drawing and report option and we click on portal detail we are waiting for portal detail to load actually a very very interactive drawing area so we click on start by creating a new drawing click on front plan we want to work with story one so we click on draw to open it up and we click on draw We're still waiting for it to load. Close this page. You can see our story one is now up. This is story one level four point one zero meter. So that is our story one. So to cut a section of this lab, you just have to click on this tab, which is section um, plain section, and also you ensure that it is on auto, so as to get a straight line. So you click on the first point of the section you want to cut, and you drag, and you click on the next section. Now you can see we've gotten we've gotten the section we need. Now with this we can see that everything how our slab will look at in that particular section of the building has been shown here. You can see everything is written Y10 at the spacing of 250 and the bar number is giving us 2. So cutting a section of the slab in Porta details enables us to know how our section is going to look like. You can see it over here. It's well represented. So that is actually what I want you guys to learn how to cut the slab section additionally I would love to teach you how to put up a dimension so let me click on dimension if you want to put up a horizontal dimension you can click on horizontal if it is vertical you can click on vertical dimension depending on a different kind of dimension are listed here but let's use just the horizontal so we'll click on horizontal now you pick out the first point which is this axis and i want to take it down to this other axis you can see we can drag or reduce so let me put it over here you can see that we've moved we've actually added a dimension from axis one to axis two which is very good you can use it in putting up different dimension around your building and also put for the horizontal dimension sorry the vertical dimension now we can click here on this axis and put it up to this axis and hit it down here you can see we've got in the axis for the vertical direction so that is how you do your dimensioning in portal detail for automatic dimension you can just click on automatic dimension and then you 
pick out the first axis you drag till you get to the desired axis you want to me which for me is the final axis you can see click on it once I click on it it shows me this area and then I click on OK you can see my dimension has been listed out here for the automatic dimension so this is how we do our dimensioning in total details and also cut out a section of the slab once we are done with our analysis in total structure so also to I would love to talk more about this a little bit about this you can see this is our bar bending schedule how we the materials that are needed so you can see over here these are the numbers the bar numbers and these are the size of the reinforcement these are the quantity that is needed and the length of each reinforcement bar and these are the shape it will take so total details try to analyze most of the desired um important detail is actually try to uh, analyze what is needed and how it is being placed actually so for the next box this is actually the soil parameter the bearing capacity of the soil is giving us 200 kilonewton per meter square the subgrade reaction is also placed over here and then the material which is the strength of the concrete for column is given here while for wall is given also for our beam you can see the grade of the concrete that should be used and the grade of the rebars so these are how you create your dimensioning and also how you cut out a section of your slab and